Hello students of class 5. Today we will be starting with the poem Canine Conversation. So, you can see here there is a picture of a dog. So, you all know that canine conversation will relate to the story of a dog. Now, here in this poem, the poet is writing about the situation what a person could face if the dog could speak. Okay, so here you can see that if the dog could speak, then what will happen? These ideas are expressed in this poem that is canine conversation. So this is a nice poem where you can see different types of dogs. And I'll try to show you in the picture. This poem is written by Robert William Service. So, Robert William Service, he was born in 1874 and he was a poet and writer. He was born in England and he moved to Canada when he was 21. And he traveled widely to lots of places. And he ended up in working in a bank. Okay. So, when he was working in a bank, he was posted in a particular place which was uh, filled with wildlife. And the place's name was Yukon Territory. Then he started writing. He began writing poetry. So, his poetry became famous and he also took part in the First World War. And later on, when he grew old, he settled in France. Okay? So, this poem is written by Robert William Service and he died in 1958. Okay? And what will we see in this poem? We will see that the two dogs, one poodle and another one is picking his dog of a madam whom the poet was referring to here as Mademoiselle in this poem. So now, let us read the first stanza. If dogs could speak, oh mademoiselle, what funny stories they could tell. For instance, take your little pig. How awkward if the deer could speak. How sad for you and all of us who round you flutter, flirt and fuss. Fox think you modest, mild and meek. But would they if Fifi could speak? So here, as you can see, the poet is asking that if dog could speak. So he is referring to Mademoiselle, to one young lady. What funny stories they could tell. So he is imagining if the dog could speak, then what funny stories they could tell. So for instance, that means for example, you take your little pig picking his dog. Okay, I'll uh, try to show you in the photograph also. But first you see, uh, now you, the photo, you can see the photo. This is a picking his dog. So poet is telling that, for instance, take your picking his dog. Uh, how awkward if the deer could speak. That means deer picking his dog, if he could speak, then how awkward, how odd situation it will be if he could speak. How sad for you and all of us. You will be so sad and we also who round you. That means the dogs move round the master or the madam. Uh, he's so modest and he moves round, uh, flutters, which is excited, then flirt. Then that means to make the playful movements and also sometimes fuss, sometimes create a nuisance uh, and also sometimes feel sad while roaming about in the house. So, 
folks think you modest mild and meek that means your friends think you think that you are very modest you are a good person you are showing good manners in speech and behavior you are so mild you are so quiet you are so good in behavior also but would they if he he could speak that means if your dog could speak that picking his dog's name was what fifi okay so then uh, that means the poet is telling to madam that madam if he could speak then uh, will or would your uh, fox that means friends think you as modest mild and meek that means your actual behavior will come out when your dog starts to speak if your dot starts to speak then what will happen he will go and tell everybody that how you behave at home right so a poet is telling like this that if fifi fifi is the name of the dog the picking is dog of the madam so he is telling if picking is would speak then what will happen next in the next para we will see about the poodle dog okay now you can see the picture of the poodle dog okay uh, see uh, this if dogs now i'll read the second paragraph okay uh, let's um, talk about it here So here you can see in this para if dogs could tell ah oh, madam rose what secrets could they not disclose if your pet poodle angelian could hint at half of what she seen your reputation would i fear as absolutely disappear as would a snowball dropped in hell if angelian could only tell okay see the lines carefully If dogs could tell, ah, uh, Madam Rose, what secrets could they not disclose? If your pet poodle Angelina could hint at half of what she seen, your reputation would I fear as absolutely disappear, as would a snowball dropped in hell. If Angelina could only tell. So here, the poet is telling that uh, the dogs keep a lot of secrets. They don't disclose. They don't go and tell to others because they can't speak, right? so the dogs cannot speak and so they will not tell our secrets to our friends so here poet is telling to madam rose that if your dog angelin that is poodle dog angelin could speak she could hint whatever things have occurred near you or whatever you have done how you have behaved towards others everything that poodle dog angelin could tell to others and others could know about your secrets because if the poodle dog angelin could speak then she could have told everything to your friends and your reputation what other people thinks about you how they regard you how they respect you would absolutely disappear absolutely means uh, totally disappear from the surrounding where you live from uh, the place where you deal with others so the poet is telling if at all angelin could speak then she could have told all your secrets to others that will make your reputation disappear from your surrounding now how it will disappear like a snowball like a ball of a snow that is suddenly dropped in a hell we all think that hell is very hot as hot as hell so if a snowball drops in hell then what would have happened uh, so like that only 
immediately the reputation of yours will disappear if angelina could only tell your secrets to others dear students you can also see a picture of a cute poodle dog in this image that i have shown here okay and i think all of you are loving this cute dog yes so uh, as you can see in the second stanza also that the poet is uh, just telling madam rose that uh, thanks that angeline could not speak otherwise she should have told all your secrets to others to your friends and your surroundings and your reputation would disappear absolutely so every time in this poem the poet is trying to tell that our behavior at home is the actual behavior that we do but outside we behave like someone else now you can see the next paragraph next stanza if dogs could speak how dangerous it would be for a lot of us at what they see and what they hear they wink an eye and wag an ear how fortunate for old and young the darlings of a silent tongue we love them but it's just as well for all of us that dogs can't tell so here uh, it's very very clear from this lines that if dogs could speak it would have been very dangerous for a lot of us because actually what we are is at home what we show to others is just false so it would be dangerous for all of us if they could speak and what they see and what they hear see then that third line in the stanza at what they see and what they hear whatever they see and whatever they hear they listen and they wink an eye and wag an ear whatever they see for that they wink an eye and whatever they hear for that they wag an ear right so the poet is telling that how fortunate for old and young those who are having uh, dogs or any pets at home so they are so fortunate the old people also and the young ones also that their darlings that means their sweetheart their pet whom they love very much they have a silent tongue silent tongue means they cannot speak so it's very lucky that they cannot speak it's lucky for us they cannot speak we are fortunate we are very lucky that they cannot speak otherwise they would have told all our secrets to others and there would have been no secrets for us that should be kept within us because dogs if they could speak they would have told everything to our fox and friends to our surroundings to our neighborhood and all our reputation what all people thinks about us would go in vain would lost would disappear so we love them but it's just as well for all of us that dogs can't tell we all love them we all love our pets and it's very good that we are having a pet at home we love them but it's very very well that they can't speak because if they could have spoken then they would have told all our secrets to others if not full then half at least okay so in this poem we can see and is very clear from the lines that it's good that pets cannot speak now here in this poem we are talking about dogs the poet is uh, describing uh, about the nature of the dogs here and mainly the two dogs the pekingese and the poodle dog is mentioned here and he is continuously telling that it's better that the dogs can't speak otherwise they would have told all our secrets to others okay and by uh, any means our reputation would disappear if the dogs could have told our secrets to others okay so in what will you do now just read the poem nicely and read it thoroughly um, twice or thrice so that you can get the meaning of the poem and you can understand the meaning of the poem 
inner thought is to behave properly at home also and outside so that everyone those who are around us those who are uh, at, attached with us should get the right us not the false one okay